हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स अ कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिच हैज ट्रबल्ड सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट एंड स्पेशली व्हेन द क्वेश्चन इन्वॉल्व्स बोथ कंपाउंड एंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इन वन प्रॉब्लम यू रिमेंबर द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सीआई एंड एसआई व्हाट इफ आई टेल यू दैट traditional method is going to consume 3 to 4 minutes for the question to get solved and the short trick you can do it mentally in say depending on your speed maybe a maximum of 10 seconds yes so you need to watch the complete video i am going to come up with this particular trick in which you will calculate the sum of the money that means p the principal or the difference between ci and si for 2 years for 3 years and so on right so before i start the video uh, two appeals one watch the complete video to learn the concept two the important thing if you have not clicked the subscribe button do it now and do click the bell shaped icon along with that so that you keep on getting all the notifications of these useful uploads on this amazing mathematics channel so here i go the first case i am going to take up is for 2 years right so let's learn the concept first and then we will get on with the questions also so i'm talking about difference between ci and si now this slide is for 2 years okay so the formula or the direct short trick will differ if the time is 2 years or when the time is 3 years now suppose you assume that the difference between the ci and si so the difference is ci minus si because the compound interest is always greater than simple interest right suppose you assume that this is x okay and you assume that the roi that is the rate of interest roi is say r percent okay r percent that is per annum and we want to calculate the sum that means the principal amount or in other words suppose we have the sum which is given to us and the rate of interest is given to us and we have to find the difference so it can be any way around you may be given the difference you may be given the rate and you will be asked to find the sum or you may be given the rate and the sum and you may be asked to find the difference so you can find the sum directly by using a particular relationship and that is x which is the difference between ci and si times we have 100 upon the rate of interest and you have to take the square of this this will give you the principal amount directly just put x and r here and you will have the sum now suppose you are asked to find the difference that means ci minus si given the sum and the rate of interest in that case you do the sum times so we can actually derive it from here only the difference is x right so if you want to find x this 100 upon r of whole square will move to the other side so sum times r upon 100 whole square and now these two are going to form the base of this particular trick let's understand this using some examples suppose in exa uh, example number 1 the difference between ci and si ci minus si which i did denoted here by x x is given as rupee 1 okay so there is one rupee difference between ci and si see i'm talking about 2 years okay so the time is 2 years only if it is if it becomes 3 years then the trick changes i am going to take that up also in the next slide okay now suppose the roi or the rate of interest is say 4% per annum okay now i want to find the sum that means what is the principal amount so the principal amount or the sum is given by the difference that is 1 times 100 upon the rate of interest 4 whole square and so i think you can do this orally 100 upon 4 is 25 and 25 square is rupees 625 that becomes the sum or the principal see how much time we are going to take to solve this 
I think five seconds, right? Not even that. You can just observe and tell the answer. Likewise, suppose we have another example where you have to find the difference now given the sum. So let's take this sum or the principal as rupees 1500, right? And the rate of interest to be 10% per annum. So R is 10% per annum. Now what happens is you have to find the difference between CI and SI. And I told you, sometimes R upon 100 square. Sum is 1500 times R 10 upon 100 square. So this is pretty easy, see, 0, 0 gets cancelled and this is 1500 upon 10 square 100 and that is exactly 15, uh, exactly 15, right? So the answer for the question is just 15 rupees and that is the difference between CI and SI. So the trick works wonderfully well and if you know the trick, you don't have to solve by the traditional approach. Although you should know the traditional approach, I'm not focusing on that as of now, okay? Yeah, let's see what is the difference between uh, CI and SI. Now I'm taking the uh, time as three years. Now in case of three years, obviously, uh, something will change, right? For three years, if you again assume that the difference CI minus SI is say X and the ROI, the rate of interest is R percent per annum, then the sum is given by X, that is the difference, times 100 Q and divide that by R square, that is rate of interest square and times the sum of 300 and R. Now this is the direct trick for finding the sum or the principal. Now from here we can reduce the formula that CI minus SI that means X will be sum into this. So sum that means the principal into R square into 300 plus R and divide that by this quantity 100 Q and you have the difference between CI and SI. So if you know the principle, you know the rate of interest, time is 3 years, so you can find the difference between CI and SI directly using this formula and principle using this formula. So I am going to take only one example where the difference is given. So suppose we have an example where the difference between CI and SI for 3 years mind you is rupees say 122. Okay. And we want to uh, know the rate of interest also. So R is say 5% per annum. I'll take a simple rate of interest which helps me in calculations also. And I want to find what is the sum of money. That means the principal. So just put this formula, the difference that is 122 times 100 Q and divide that by what? R square times 300 plus R. R square, 5 square is 25 times 300 plus 5 is 305. Now this is what is the calculation. So I think the 100 will get cancelled by 25 and we have a lot of multiples of 5 here also. I can see, um, see if, if, if you want to simplify this, this is 122 times 100 times 1 followed by 4 zeros. So I can write all zeros or 100 into 100 and then 25 into 305. Now if you see uh, 25 cancel this 4 times and uh, this is 20 times and this is 61. See and 61 cancel this exactly twice. So we have the answer here. So 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16 followed by 3 zeros and your answer for the question is rupees 16,000. There you go. So the calculation is not at all a problem. It is just the knowledge of the two short tricks which help you in cracking all the problems of difference between CI and SI. I don't think anybody will give you a question where the time is like four years, five years. It is only two years or three years. So that completes our trick. And I hope this will benefit you if you are preparing for your quant exams. And this is a topic in the um, comparing quantities chapter also at junior level in class 7th and 8th. Um, percentage, you study uh, 
uh, all these things also C I and S I. So if you like this video, do share it with all your friends so that they can also take benefit out of this. And do not forget to practice a lot. That is really really important. Let me know in the comments whether this worked for you or not. All the best for your practice.